Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am really sorry for the lack of videos. I don't know whether you can hear but I am quite ill at the moment. <clears throat> But I've had so many questions and comments and things like that on Instagram and Twitter and emails that where are my September favourites? So I have put some makeup on today. I feel like I've forgotten how to put makeup on. That's how long it's been since I've actually worn makeup on my face. But yeah, today I'm going to be doing my September favourites because we're almost at the middle of October, which means A... These are really really late and B, if I don't get this up sooner, it's basically just going to turn into an October favourites video which we don't want that happening so yeah, I am going to be showing you guys the things that I was loving last month and kind of still am loving this month as well. Please excuse my voice and if I'm sniffing and things like that because I'm not very well but I really wanted to get this video up for you all so I am going to crack straight on to this video and I'm going to tell you guys the perfume that I was loving last month. This perfume is basically my answer to the fact that I will always be a floral sweet scent kind of girl but I do like my muskier, deeper scents for like, especially this time of year. So this is the Liz Earl Botanical Essence Number no. 20. And this is their new perfume, I believe. It's in a really cute pink bottle. I love the bottles of um, all of the Liz Earl perfumes because they're very sturdy and I love that they're square. And this basically just means that it takes up less space wherever I put them because some of my bottles get too big and clunky. Whereas this one is the perfect size for me and I'm gonna spray some on me because I haven't sprayed any perfume on me today I can't really smell right now with my nose situation going on this basically has the perfect mix of florals and kind of deeper scents that you need for this time of year I feel like you could almost wear all year round but it does have that musky element to it which is perfect for like your autumn winter time and the fact that it's pink I'm sold. <laughs> so if anyone is looking for a new perfume or if they're looking to switch stuff up, I would definitely go and check this out and just give it a whiff because it smells so, so, so gorgeous. And if you're like me and you love that little bit of floral in anything <laughs> and everything perfume related, then you would definitely like this. So this was my first favorite of last, I was about to say last year, last month. Um, the next items are all makeup. I felt like De December? I felt like September went so quickly for me. September for me was going to Dubai, going to New York, and then just being like all around busy in general. I kind of feel like September and October for me have just like merged into one. But I do have a lot of makeup y kind of favourites. I'm actually going to start off with the skincare bit because I've just realised I've got some of this skincare in here. Um, so, if you guys have watched any of my vlog videos or follow me on Instagram or Twitter, then you guys will know that I was in New York um, very briefly for New York Fashion Week. And no trip to America is complete without doing a massive haul there, like in all the makeup shops that you can think of. I am planning to get my New York haul up for you guys as soon as I'm feeling a little bit better. And yeah, I will get it up for you guys, <laughs> but it might be another week or two. So, one of the things that I got when I was there is a facial oil, and this is the facial oil that converted me to using facial oils. Um, so this is like, for me, a like queen bee of facial oils, and that is the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. This is just insanely good. Um, it is pure argan oil. Yeah, that's like literally all that's in here. Um, so you could get this from like Amazon and just get like another argan oil, but I just really, really, really like this one. It lasts for ages. And for me, I just love using facial oils. Sometimes I'll use them in the morning. Sometimes I'll use them in the evenings. Kind of just depends on my mood really, but I just, particularly love this one because this was the first facial oil that I ever tried and since then I've just been a convert so um this I was loving last month and I still am right now a lot of people say that um doesn't using an oil on your skin <sighs> 
<coughs> a lot of people ask, um, doesn't using an oil make your skin feel oily or greasy? And what an oil actually does in your face is actually it rebalances the oil. So if you've got slightly oilier places in your face, like oilier cheeks or an oilier forehead, then this will actually help balance out the kind of parts in your face which need the oils and the parts of your face that don't really need the oils. So that's why I love using this and it is a multi-purpose product so you can put it in your hair, you can add it to a moisturiser, you can use it as a cuticle treatment, you could use it for a lot of things. My last one that I had I dropped and the oil just kind of like spilled out the bottle and I was like no! So I had to get the full size bottle, I think the other one that I had was slightly smaller but have been loving, loving Josie Moran. Um, I feel like the only place that you can get it here in the UK is QVC. Um, and I think on Amazon it is very expensive, but you can, I believe, order it on Sephora.com to come to England. But if you live in America, I really envy you guys because you guys have Sephora and you guys have everything there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll leave a couple of links of where you can get this and all the other things that I've included in this video. Now I'm gonna go on to a makeup tool and that is my Beauty Blender. Now this is the Beauty Blender Pro. So I've got the pink Beauty Blender, which I think is the original Beauty Blender, but this one is called the Beauty Blender Pro. Now I didn't really think that it would be any different to using just like the normal Beauty Blender, apart from it just being different in color. However, Every single time I use this, I feel like this is so much more kind of dense and so much more kind of thicker, if that makes sense, in comparison to the pink. Therefore, it holds a lot of water and is obviously going to help blend your foundation out really well. But a lot of the times when I've done a tutorial, people are like, oh my god, you have so much makeup on your face. Does it not look cakey? Does it not, like, look too much on your skin and every single time I read comments like that I'm like you guys have not been introduced to the beauty blender because this guy is amazing if I look at my skin right now you can tell that I've got foundation on you can't see any streaks if like someone's far away from me it just looks like kind of my skin look better but this is just incredible I do not use any other foundation brushes anymore. It is all about the Beauty Blender. Like, I hands down think this is the best tool in terms of, like, makeup brushes out there. I feel like I'm not making any sense, so I'm really sorry if this video is really annoying or really boring, but I just really wanted to film this. Um, but yeah, I just love this bad boy. And, oh! Nearly dropped it there. So that was my next favourite. Um, okay, now I'm not going to lie. All the next things are all makeup. So I'm going to start off with the way that I would apply this. I'm going to go basey products first, then cheeks and lips and eyes. So I don't know whether I've included this in a favourites video ever. And if I haven't, like, I feel a little bit ashamed of myself because I use this every single day without fail. And that is the Kick Ass Powder by Soap and Glory. Mine is like, it's literally on its last legs. And if I show you the pan, it has definitely had some love. I use this every single day to set my under eyes and anywhere that I've kind of highlighted and concealed. And this stuff is just insanely finely milled and on your skin when you touch your skin in the areas that you've applied this it feels so 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 smooth and with this less is more like you don't want to go in and apply loads and loads and loads of crap loads of product because you don't really need it with this it's more of a setting powder than it is just powdering your face or using it as kind of like for coverage reasons. I want to show you guys the brush that I use with this because I get so many questions about this. I always use this with the Lux Face Focus Brush by Zoeva and I literally just tap it in there and then just start tapping it under my eyes and then whatever's left over I just kind of like dust everywhere else. But this stuff is freaking awesome. I am definitely going to be getting a backup of this um, because I'm going to be needing one very very soon. But I just love this and I'm really sorry if I haven't included it in a favourites video yet, but this is just 
one of the best setting powders that I've ever used. Next up is a um, contour palette. I've actually included this contour palette in quite a few tutorials of mine, and that is the Barry M Flawless Cheek Contour Kit. It looks like this. It's just kind of cardboard packaging, so it's nothing special, but I just love these two shades. Generally, I just use this one for contouring, but sometimes if I don't really want to use a blush, I will kind of just put that on my cheeks and mix them two together. I've been loving this because it does give me quite an intense contour when I want it to, but I can use it on a day-to-day -day basis and just kind of buff everything away. I do have it on my cheeks today. I believe this is like five or six pounds, um, so it's relatively cheap, and I really like this, so I've been using this a lot. Next up is another purchase from New York, and again, this has been featured in a lot of my videos recently, and that is Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill who is here on YouTube and I think she's amazing and her highlight is always, always, always on point. Um, and every single time she used this or I saw this in any of the tutorial or on any blogs, I was like, oh my god, that looks pretty awesome. Like, I feel like I need to swatch it before I get it because I was this close to doing a Sephora order but then I kind of kept putting it off. And luckily I was going to America so I was like, I need, need, need to head to a Sephora and swatch this. And if I liked it, I was like, I'm going to buy it straight away without any fail. But this is such a gorgeous shade for a highlight. It looks really kind of like peachy in the pan, but when you put it on, it really is kind of like your perfect mix of gold, your perfect mix of pearl, your perfect mix of like white. Like it's kind of like all your perfect highlighters in one shade and I have been using this a lot. I do love the Becca highlighters in general. I feel like I have almost every single shade um, but this one and Opal have to be my favourite but this one obviously like is the creme de la creme like in terms of colour I just love 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 this. Um, it's very very easy to work with, it's really creamy on the skin and the pigmentation is in cred. So I've been loving, 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 loving Champagne Pop. Last cheek product is a blush. Again, this has been featured in a lot of tutorials as well. And it is this Milani blush here. And it's in the shade 01 Romantic Rose. So it actually has a like, kind of like a rose look on the pan. Um, I am wearing it on my cheeks today and again I feel like it is an everyday colour and you get a heck of a lot of product with this. Like I really swirl my brush into this and then like dab it onto my cheeks and I feel like the flower is still going strong. Like I don't, I haven't like messed it up in the slightest. This is kind of like the perfect autumn winter shade and it's kind of like a perfect my cheeks but better shade as well because it just really does give you that natural flush to your cheeks it doesn't really look like you're wearing full-on like blusher slapped on your face really really like this um i do have another shade of this which is a super super bright pink but i've been using this one way more because it's just so much more wearable for like everyday wear next i'm gonna go on to eyes um, so the first thing that I want to say that I've been loving are a pair of lashes. I am wearing them today and they are the Huda Beauty Lashes in Samantha. And these I feel like I am wearing the 10th or the 11th time and they are still going strong. And by that I mean none of the hairs of the eyelashes have fallen out. They stick really well still. They are in beautiful shape because sometimes like they go like funny shapes, but I just love them. I feel like I should have got another pair of these, but these were the only pair that I got when I was in Dubai, and I feel really annoyed at myself because I would actually wear these more than Giselle, because I bought a pair of Giselle as well. But I believe you can now order these lashes off Sephora.com, but don't quote me on that. I don't know whether they ship to the UK. I feel like if you want to get these in the UK, you have to order from her website. So um, I will leave all the details in the info box, but I've been loving, loving, loving these lashes. <coughs> <coughs> um, and then the last eye thing um, that I was also loving last month was this Maybelline Matte Master Ink Liquid Eyeliner. I, again, do have this on as a slight wing on my eyes today, but this probably has to be one of the mattest eyeliners that I have ever used. I feel like the other one is the NYX one, which is really, 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 really matte. 
but this bad boy is so easy to use. I am a huge fan of matte eyeliners. I don't really like to wear the shiny looking eyeliners or like the really glossy looking eyeliners. I don't know why, whereas I like my eyeliner to look really matte. Sometimes I will put an eyeliner on and then pack it on with black eyeshadow just to make it extra matte. Whereas with this, I don't even have to do this. It is super, 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 super matte. And obviously Maybelline price points are super affordable as well. And I have just been loving this. I believe this is new here in the UK. It does come in a satin finish, but... I'm more of a matte girl, me, so I was loving, loving, loving that. And then the next two products are um, two lipsticks that I basically have been obsessed over ever since I got them. And again, they are matte. Um, they are these matte lipsticks from Maybelline. So we've got Divine Wind here, which is probably the most comfortable dark red lipstick I have ever worn. Um, and then this one here is called Nude Embrace. I actually have this on my lips right now. I'm going to top it up. Um, I have this on right now with, I want to say, a sore lip liner on top. Yeah, sore lip liner on top. Um, but I just love wearing this as kind of like an everyday shade with a lip liner um, because it is pretty nude but I feel like if you wear like a pinky lip liner with it it kind of pinks up the lip a little bit if you wear like a brown lip liner with it it kind of makes it more brown toned for me I feel like this is a bit of a chameleon like you can really change up this lipstick but it's so so comfortable to wear I wouldn't say that it's super super matte like a matte liquid lipstick but it is quite matte and it's super 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 comfortable to wear because we all know like I definitely have a love-hate relationship with liquid lipsticks because I love them. I love the longevity of them, but they can sometimes feel a little bit drying, which means you've got to put some lip balm on underneath beforehand or top it up or, like, try and fix it. But with this, you don't have that problem. And then this one here is Divine Wine. It is, like, my autumn shade right now. Like, I just love, 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 love this colour. And I feel like I've worn this quite a lot in a lot of my Instagram pictures. And, yeah, I just love this shade so if you'd like to see what this looks like on I will leave a link to my Instagram and maybe a couple of pictures on my Instagram where I'm wearing this shade but hands down it's one of the best like dark red lipsticks that I own so you guys that is the end of my favorites video I am extremely sorry that it's taken me so long to get this video up I have literally been in bed or like snuggled up on the sofa for the past like god knows how long i'm still taking loads of medicine i'm trying to drink as much water as i can to flush whatever the heck this is in my system out i was like i need to get up i need to put some makeup on i need to like film this video so i hope you guys enjoyed this little i don't know how long this video will be but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am gonna try and get some Halloween tutorials up for you guys. I have one really exciting one coming up um, Actually all of them are exciting. I'm planning to do three um, But yeah, um, they will be up in the next couple of weeks um, I'm just hoping that I will feel better enough to be able to do them, but I am on the mend <laughs> um, But yeah, and um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video as always and yeah, I guess I will see you all in my next one. Bye!